Hi there and welcome from LSAT Freedom. This video is going to talk about the LSAT in China and specifically people and students preparing and studying for the LSAT in China including those of you who actually plan on taking the LSAT in China. So you may be preparing for the LSAT in China for any number of reasons. Uh, for instance, you may be a student studying in China uh, who then hops on a plane and flies back to the States and actually ends up taking the LSAT uh, in the States. Uh, you could also be uh, a student in China who ultimately takes the LSAT in China. Uh, but whatever the case, the point is you're preparing for the LSAT in China. And oftentimes what happens is China and the LSAT, they don't really mix very well. They can be like oil and water. And for that matter, preparing for the LSAT anywhere abroad presents uh, some unique challenges. But what are those challenges? You may have experienced some of those already. Uh, you may have yet to experience them. Uh, well, first, the first major challenge is the distance between you and the nerve center of the LSAT. Uh, whether you're in China or somewhere else abroad, you're pretty far away from uh, the LSAT, uh, where it's uh, created, the, uh, the, the major market for the LSAT, uh, and the entire law school admissions process. You're just very far away, and this creates a lot of difficulties overall. The second uh, major hurdle that you will experience, or if you have not experienced already, is the fact that uh, being in China presents a lot of administrative difficulties. It's already complicated enough uh, registering for the exam in the States, finding your test center, finding an LSAT prep course. Move all of that overseas and it simply compounds matters. Soon enough it's just one big mess and frankly you don't need that, uh, particularly when you already have to study for a very difficult exam. The third problem is uh, you can experience a lot of communication problems in China or elsewhere, uh, whether it's figuring out where your test center is or with the pro or, uh, interacting with the proctor on the day of the exam. Uh, these communication barriers can present enormous difficulties and uh, they may even hinder you. Uh, the fourth and some would think the most significant challenge is, uh, you know, if you want to enroll in an LSAT prep course and you're in China, where do you find one? If you can't find a, a classroom course and, and it's, it's not like you're going to be able to find one over there, is there an online LSAT course you can take? Uh, is that any good? You know, what are the options? And if you can't find anything suitable or you can't afford $1,000 for a course, are, are you comfortable with self-study? So, all of these challenges they can stress out a lot of people, uh, they can overwhelm you, but we're here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that hard. Preparing for the LSAT in China or anywhere else can be much easier than you think. Uh, you know, it may not necessarily be a day at the beach, but we can get you closer to that and further away from all of the stress and, um, and, and issues that these challenges can cause. So what you need to do is you need to sign up for our email newsletter in the uh, sign up box over on the right hand side of this page. It's very simple. All you need to do is fill out your first name, your email address, take your mouse pointer and click on the sign up button. Uh, you can unsubscribe at any time. Your contact information is 100 percent confidential. and the major benefit of this is you're going to learn a lot of things. Uh, we're going to send you a lot of information. You're going to be able to learn about how to prepare for the LSAT in China. You'll be able to learn how to make your LSAT preparation efficient and effective. And you'll be able to improve your LSAT taking experience in general. So don't waste time. Sign up for our newsletter and take advantage of all of the information we can give you. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for visiting this page.